What's up, YouTube? It's the kid, DC Wrestling. Uh, Raw was tonight. I thought it was solid for the most part, you know. As you see in the picture, the main event was Braun Breaker versus Sami Zayn in a two out of three falls match for the Intercontinental Championship. And, um, yeah, this match is really good, to be honest with you. I feel like this is a really good way to close out the Braun Breaker and Sami Zayn feud. Um, obviously, Braun looked really good as always. And Sami, even though he lost, he looked good. So, it was a really good main event. Really, really good main event. You know, two out of three falls. Really can't complain about it. And um, another big thing that took place on the show tonight, outside of Bronson Reed obviously destroying The Miz um, and our truth he did, really our truth he really destroyed our truth but he did beat The Miz. You had the Judgment Day segment, you know. Now, from what I've seen, there's been a lot of mixed feelings about this. There's other people that have been saying, oh, the segment was all right. But then there was other people, you know, they were saying that the segment was, oh, it just, Dom didn't really fully explain himself and his explanation as to why he turned on Rhea and the Judgment Day as a whole, technically, was just, it just wasn't fully it just wasn't fully justified, and it, or let alone didn't make any sense to begin with. But nevertheless, as we saw Priest attacking Dominic and Rhea attacking Liv, and this playing into later on into the night, it was announced later on that we were going to get a mixed tag match at Bash of Berlin. It's going to be the Terra Twins, as they call it, but the original members of the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest taking on Dirty Dom and Liv Morgan. So we'll see that there. Also, you know, we saw Randy Orton and Gunther have a face-off. And um, Gunther, man, you know, he just... I was saying this while the segment was going on, man, but Gunther just has this way of, like, being able to pull on people's strings. He called Damian Priest street trash, and now he just called Randy Orton, like, a has-been. I forgot how he fully said it, but he basically... That was kind of how he basically said it. And, um, you know, Randy got upset about it. But then Drew came out, and then um, Gunther got distracted. Randy hit him with the RKO. Punk came out. Punk and Drew exchanged, and Punk was beating him with the belt. And basically what Punk was saying in the backstage interview, kind of teasing that the next time we get a Drew McIntyre and CM Punk match, is going to be a strap match. Now, you had the stuff going on with the New Day and Odyssey Jones. Um, Odyssey Jones looked pretty good in his debut tonight. But how the segment was set up, it set up next week's uh, six-man tag between the Final Testament and, obviously, the New Day and Odyssey Jones. I ain't going to lie to you. I hope they don't break up the New Day because they kind of teasing it. They, they, are, they really are teasing it that, th that um, Xavier Woods is going to at least leave. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I get the New Day have been together for, for years now. But I don't, I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. The New Day has kind of always felt like that group that kind of stayed together forever, you know. And um, I don't know. It just, God, they've been together for so long. And then, you know, Big E obviously came back. And we don't even know if Big E will ever come back. And it's just that hurt for Xavier to leave like that. But I don't know. I don't book the shows. I don't write the show. So maybe him leaving the New Day might actually be interesting. I may be wrong. You know, we just got to wait and see what happens next week. But um, you could tell Xavier is just not feeling Odyssey Jones. Like, And then you had the tag team tornado match with the Creed brothers and Alpha Academy, which was really good. But then you had um, old girl Ivy Nival turn on um, Maxine, which wasn't really shocking to me because with how she was approaching her backstage and she was like giving her one final chance and Maxine was like, nah, sister, I'm going to stay right here, you know, with the boys. And that right there sealed Maxine's fate, and she didn't even know it. So, solid episode of Raw, and uh, yeah.